Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 29th of 2019. Well, it is titled M27, not a comet. So what we see here is not a comet, as you might guess from the title. And why do we title it something like not a comet? Well, that's because this is one of the objects in Charles Messier's catalog. And in fact, number 27, the 27th object that he cataloged that was not a comet. So why would you catalog things that are not comets? Well, one of the things that Messier was doing was looking for comets. So he was a comet hunter uh, back in the 1700s. And he would search the sky for comets, things that were a little bit fuzzy, and try to chart their paths. And you what you would do is if you found something that was a little bit fuzzy, you wouldn't know if it was a comet. So you'd have to follow it for a while and see if it was moving relative to the stars. A comet being a part of our solar system would move relative to the stars, whereas more distant objects like some of his Messier objects, including this one and including things like the Andromeda galaxy M31 would not move. They would stay in the same place. So after following them for a few days, you would realize that they were not comets and could move on to looking for other objects. So in this case, this is an example of a planetary nebula. Now, while it's not a comet, it also is not a planet, regardless of the term planetary nebula. A planetary nebula might look like a small round planet through a small telescope. Through a much larger, a larger telescope like this, you can see a great detail there. And this is actually the end state of a star much like our own sun when its outer layers will expand out into space and the core will contract down to a dense white dwarf star. So the core of the star still remains behind at the center here, extremely hot emitting lots of ultraviolet radiation. And the outer layers have expanded into space. The ultraviolet radiation from the inner uh, from the inner core will then excite those gases and cause them to glow for a relatively short time. This stage of a star's life may only last a few tens of thousands of years. And while that may seem like a long time, it is minuscule compared to the lifespan of a star like the sun of 10 billion years. So very, very small stage and just the stars that we happen to catch at that exact stage. So we can see that example here. Now an interesting thing is that planetary nebulae do not all look alike. We see planetary nebulae of a number of different shapes and structures and may have something to do with the star that that originates the planetary nebula? Are there differences uh, with, with different stars of different masses or stars of different types? And are there differences with stars that are, for example, in a binary system, if there is more than one star there? How does that affect the shape of the nebula that we will see? So studying nebulae like this tell us something about the ending state of the lives of stars that are much like our own sun. So that was our picture of the day for August the 29th of 2019. It was titled M27, not a comet. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.